Uh, metformin hydrochloride uh, glucophage, uh, most commonly known as met, just metformin. Uh, to be clear, we're talking about this in context of bodybuilding, um, and how it's used in bodybuilding and how it's applied in bodybuilding, not for medicinal use. I mean, it, I guess technically it is medicinal use, uh, the way it's used in bodybuilding. Um, but anyway, uh, Metformin is a pretty cool little drug. Uh, you know, I I feel like most people should be using it, uh, especially if you're eating a lot of carbs and taking um, growth hormone. You, you should probably be on metformin. Uh, let's dig into it. We'll talk about why. Uh, learn a little more about this drug. So metformin, uh, it's an oral um, anti-hyperglycemic drug uh it's to it was it's a synthetic form of a natural anti-diabetic guanide um one dimethylated by guanide variant for those of you chemistry nerds uh it was first developed in 1929 so it's old as fuck um and but it wasn't actually put through clinical trials until uh 1959 much later um, and it was clo caused uh, glucophage, glucophage, however you want to say it. You say tomato, I say tomato, uh, which literally means glucose eater. Um, it wasn't, you know, it, it was approved uh, internationally for use in the 1960s, uh, but wasn't introduced to the U.S. from what I understand until the 90s. Um, and now it is the most widely prescribed diabetes medication in the world that's because it works um so what metformin does uh it increases cellular insulin sen sen uh, sensitivity if i can talk um i don't know why the bros seem to think this i've corrected several people um uh, on this one that have talked about metformin for, for some reason they think it's an insulin mimicker it does not work like insulin it is it is it doesn't drive nutrients into the cell. What it does do is increase um, insulin sensitivity in the cell and receptivity to insulin. Um, insulin actually signals the cell to take nutrients. Uh, uh, metformin or glucophage does not do that, okay? It also reduces production of glucose by the liver. Um, so, you know, sometimes, you know, people, will, when you have high fasting glucose levels sometimes you, there's a thing called the dawn effect uh where your liver starts pumping out uh glucose overnight uh this can help with that um decreases uh the sh uh, absorption of sugars through the gastrointestinal tract uh, which is fascinating it actually you know keeps you from absorbing as much uh of the sugars um, decreases appetite. Uh, it's shown to increase the secretion of the weight loss promoting incretin glucagon like peptide one. Um, I will tell you my appetite goes down when I'm when I'm taking higher doses of mes metformin. Also fascinating, it has been shown in recent studies to reduce cancer risk. People that have taken metformin um, um, in studies have lower cancer rates than those who do not. Uh, studies suggested that metformin inhibit, inhibits cancer cell growth by activating the um, AMPK um, process. So that's kind of uh, kind of cool. Side effects of metformin, um, you know, huge warning here, and it's rare, but it can cause lactic acidosis in some people. Um, I've heard that if you're severely dehydrated, it can cause lactic acidosis. So you got to be careful about that, uh, mostly in just in diabetics. So if you're healthy and functioning, you probably won't have an issue with it. Uh, the most common symptom that people get or side effect is gastric dis distress, especially when you first start. Um, it, it can cause some diarrhea. It won't, you know, I definitely had some diarrhea when I first started. Gas, nausea, indigestion uh, can also cause headaches. Um, um, impaired creatinine uh, clearance um, where kidney disease is present. So if you have any sort of impaired kidney function, you should not take metformin. It's probably a bad idea. 
Um, it also impairs B12 absorption as well. Um, the application of metformin in bodybuilding, uh, first and foremost, it's used to counter uh, the HGH induced insulin resistance, especially when you're taking higher doses of HGH, you need to manage that. And metformin is a one way of doing that uh, to increase insulin sensitivity and prevent insulin sensitivity loss from the use of uh, HGH. Um, HGH is a counter regulatory hormone to insulin. Uh, it all, you know, it, it, you know, the appetite suppression is an advantage, especially when you're dieting. Um, if you're not as hungry because of metformin use, that's that's nice a little benefit. Uh, it works like it's like peanut butter and jelly with insulin. You make your cells more insulin sensitive, and if you're using insulin, you can more easily drive nutrients into the muscle cells. Specifically, uh, uh, it seems that uh, from what I I haven't you know anecdotally, it seems that metformin has a pretty dramatic increase. Uh, on uh, on muscle cell insulin sensitivity. So if you're using insulin in conjunction with that, um, it, it can, you know, you know if the cells are more sensitive to insulin, you can drive more nutrients or, you know, use less insulin to drive nutrients into the cell. Um, lower fasting glucose levels, which are always uh, good for long-term health. Uh, Half-life of metformin HCL. We're not talking about the XR version of metformin. The most common one you'll see used in bodybuilding is just met metformin HCL. It's four to eight hour half-life. So you, you ideally should be taking it multiple times a day. Uh, with meals, um, I usually split it up in three doses. Um, that's how I do it. I'll, you know, I'll take 1,500 milligrams and sp split it up into three doses throughout the day. Um, doses, that, uh, most common doses that you'll see, uh, uh, beginning dose would be 500 milligrams. I would not start off with more than 500 milligrams unless you want to paint your walls with your butt. Um, you're going to get diarrhea if you start off with 1,000 milligrams in a single dose. So start off with 500 milligrams at night, I would say, with a meal. Um, intermediate dose, you know, you can move up to there if if you settle in with that and your stomach has settled down after a couple months, you can go up to a thousand. Um, 1500 milligrams is, is, you know, an advanced dose. Um, the max that has been clinically tested and suggested is 2200 milligrams. The pills usually come, I think, in uh, 500 or a thousand milligrams. I think I've seen 850s, something weird like that, but. The ones I usually see are a thousand milligrams, so that you know, two, let's just say two thousand milligrams would be the max dose you want to take in a day. Um, my experience, um, it has a moderate effect on lowering glucose. Um, Fifteen hundred milligrams a day lowered my fasting, glu you know, glucose levels by about ten points. Um, I, I do think it does have. Um, it seems like you partition. Nutrients better, you know, this is just me, it's just bro logic here, or just, you know, from my, my experience, I don't have any actual evidence of it, but it seems like when you do eat a ton of carbohydrates, those carbohydrates are used more effectively when, you, when you're taking metformin. It seems like they do go to the muscle and not your, your belly. Um, I will tell you, it gives you, even after you get over, when I first started taking it, I definitely got diarrhea. I started off with 1,000 milligrams. That was a mistake. It tore my stomach up. My stomach was a wreck. I have a sensitive stomach too, so you got to be careful with the stuff. Um, even after that uh, settled down, you still get this just nasty smelling. Anybody who's taken metformin, they know about metformin farts uh, and the metformin poop. It just has a weird smell to it. I, it changes something about how your body digests food, and it has a rancid smell to your 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 poop and your farts. It's just different. I don't know how to explain it other than just it's rancid. Uh, definitely start off with 500 milligrams. Um, it is a strong appetite suppressant, at least for me. Um, after w Once I crank the dose up to 1,500 milligrams, it really, really has an effect on my appetite. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it does work well in conjunction with insulin, but you got to be careful 
um, it, you can go hypo a lot easier than what you could before. So you're going to have to back off. If you're using insulin, I would suggest backing off your insulin doses until you figure out where you're at. Um, it You will go hypo more easily when using it with um, insulin. Metformin by itself generally does not make people go hypoglycemic. I have not heard of it. I did see it listed in the side effects, but I've never heard of anybody going hypoglycemic um, and, and go, you know, going into a hypoglycemic state with um, metformin alone. Uh, working up to 1,500 milligrams. 1,500 milligrams seems to be the sweet spot where it works the best. That allows you to break it up into three um, daily doses, so you're having coverage throughout the day. I usually take it in the morning when I get up, middle of the day, and then before bed, so I have three three doses. Um, and I, I try to take them with meals. It seems to, anecdotally, it seems to help with the uh, help with the gastric distress. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Feel free to ask questions in the um, comment section. And if there are other videos on PEDs or you know uh, compounds used in bodybuilding, let me know. I'm happy to do a profile up on them. And follow me on Instagram at Paul K. Barnett. Have a great day.